Welcome back to 5 Minute Minecraft. Here we are. Okay. So, tonight... Well, <laughs> the night that I'm recording this. It's very early in the morning. I have a trip to visit my mother today, so I'm putting this video out a lot earlier than I have been. It will not be mid-afternoon this time. So, overnight before this, Ada and I did a streaming of Mega Man 2. Using her excellent help, we managed to beat the game together. Made it all the way to the end. Ooh, hey. Something's down there. Let's explore. I'm not going to be putting up a complete video for that. Sometimes streaming just doesn't make a very good video to me. Since nobody can see what she says, it's a little awkward sometimes. Of random nonsense to me. And sometimes repeating myself. Because the streams don't always go the way you want them to. Messages don't always go through quite as quickly as you might expect. Alright, so let's just set this up so we can get back up there. Got the blocks. bunch of torches. We are not going to lose this area. Except, okay, I brought sticks. That was an accident. I do plan on if I recorded it, sharing the last boss rush before the final battle. Okay. Danger. So much danger. It took quite a few attempts before we were able to actually... bad guys sufficiently. So for a very short time I got very good at memorizing what I needed to use in order to beat the bosses. last one before we made it to Wiley went very fast. 
It kind of looked impressive to me anyway. So, if I save that, and I think I did, I would like to share that one. Otherwise, it was just a nice, fun, personal experience for both of us. And since we haven't streamed in a little while, it was very nice to get back to that. So, since I have a trip, I wanted to get my videos out of the way. I'm not going to be spending too much time... doing family stuff, really. It's... It's more about... Just spending a little time with my mom and, well, coming out to her, really. A lot of recent life events have just taken me to the point where I'm not as concerned about having support as I was before. I wanted to have a nice group of support, but months ago when I first came out to other people in my life, I mean, not many. Very, very few. I thought that I had a lot of support with me, and... I was perfectly ready to start transitioning, because I... who understood and who could help me when things became a little tough. But then other life events happened and... In one of those weird turnovers... I just kept thinking about it. And I'm unhappy the way I am. Not everybody gets to have support. Not everybody has friends who are willing to go through anything with them. And there are people out there who even lose friends over stuff like this. But it became more about trying to be me than having the support of people. And I'm at this point where I just want to be happy with who I am. I don't want to keep living in a way that that hides everything. makes me dissatisfied with everything.
But at the same time, I do still feel like I need to talk about it sometimes. The best I can do- oh, wow. The best I can do sometimes for my friend at work is just hint at a bunch of vague obscurities and never actually say what's going on, what the issue is. I've asked my mom about a whole bunch of stuff in the past. And I'm hoping she'll support me. If not, I haven't really been very close to my family for a very long time anyway. So, technically speaking, it really isn't a big loss if things go to the absolute worst. Hopefully she'll be alright with it. If anything, maybe in time things will go really great with the overall family, and it'll just be one of those situations of... We always knew you were weird. Now we finally know exactly how. Absolutely terrified of talking to her about it. I've always been fairly secretive, private. It's mostly been a protection thing. But anyway, the point is, I'm putting out the videos early, trying to get a bunch of this done on my night off, some of that to replenish my torches. This also means that we should be a lot higher in the air. I don't tend to find coal very deep in the ground, I mean. So, I don't know how much I've said over how many videos, but... I think I said before... I heard that my sister's transphobic. But we haven't got along for a very long time anyway. I mean... I guess that's not the right way of putting it. It's not that we don't get along, it's just that we don't talk. So it might not ruin the relationship as it is.
But it's one of those weird situations where I might not be very close to my family. I might not talk to them often. I might not visit. But it really sucks if you get to the point where it's not just that you don't or you're unable to visit, but people ban you. Or they say, I don't want you in my life anymore. I guess the whole divorce thing kind of messed things up. It's just that weird situation where I've distanced my family from fear and shame. Even before getting into the depth of this. Having a failed marriage really sucks, makes me feel very small, and I don't know why I would think that my family would judge me. But that's the first fear that I have. Oh, wow just came out right over here. Very convenient. Oh, that's where we dug into down there, right? Way over on the other side. So, I sort of wonder also, maybe in a humorous way, what my family might think of me. What with that new Jeffrey Dahmer series on Netflix, it makes a person just start wondering how your family might feel. Okay, so they always knew that I was a little different, weird, not like other people. So maybe they're under a whole bunch of anxiety, thinking, just what kind of weird is this boy? For all I know, maybe it'll come as a comfort. It's like, hey, your boy's a girl. Oh, well, as far as weirdness goes, that's not the worst. gay or trans could be about the best case scenario in their eyes. But I'm still worried about having the conversation. time. Come back. Let's go, Donk.
any way. Sometimes when I go on little rants, I stop talking for a long time or I just lose track. Oh. Tonight, I just hope to get out. Maybe two or three of our Resident Evil videos. So Ada has something to enjoy if texts aren't able to get through. Daily Minecraft videos will continue as normal. And we've almost hit 100. I know that I just sort of celebrated the whole three month thing, but three months and 100 episodes are two very different celebrations. I look forward to celebrating 100 episodes of five minute minecraft i have no special plans for it but just mentioning it and while i'm at it thank you still to the few people who still watch our videos and I guess I'm also grateful for the other hundred people who are still subscribed and have just stopped watching but don't unsubscribe seeing that little hundred and three in the corner every time that I check to see if my videos have actually uploaded it does give me a little bit of happiness to know that for a very brief period of time, there was a big rush for people subscribing to the channel. There was interest. So, that should be it for this video. I'll have to come up with another project soon. Maybe bringing a whole bunch of wood to the end so that I can make all those bridges I talked about. I am just a little bit tired right now. Emotionally exhausted from life. But... I'm glad to know that there are still viewers. Thank you for showing up. Check out the donkey.